I come from absolute nothing. Yep. Appalachia, very close, very close area to where JD Vance is from. Mm -hmm. Very similar life. Mm -hmm. My mother was an addict, mm -hmm. no father. Um, I had to figure it out on my own. Right. 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 But you know, I had equal opportunity to play football. Right. And I was born big yeah. and I was, and I was born with an attitude and I was right. born with, you know, I was bred into this football lifestyle. Right. So it was like, okay, this is what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. um, there's no other country that you can go do that. in. Mm -hmm. Like we live in the greatest country. Right. And we're just letting it go. Right. We're just, we're letting it slip away. Yeah. You know, I'm a, I'm a big bow hunter, right? 10 million hunters didn't vote. 10 million in the last election. Wow. 400,000 in Pennsylvania alone. That would have flipped the state. Wow. So think about that. Wow. So that's what I'm, that's when I say that the, the voting that's going to have that people have got to get their ass up and go vote. I like, don't think to. my vote doesn't matter because mm -hmm. it does. Mm -hmm. And I don't care who you're voting for. Mm -hmm. Just get up and go vote and participate in your government. Right. Participate because if not, you're asking to be led by morons. Well, because then also we know who the majority of this country really wants, but when there's large numbers like that of people not voting. Because they don't think it matters. Right. And after this election, my wife says it all the time. She says, I'm afraid that we're never going to have a fair election. again." I know because I'm not going to be one of those people. that's like, Oh, I'm not going to say that at last election was bullshit. Total bullshit. And it's fishy and all kinds of shit was going on and pulling votes out of their ass and using dead people to vote. Like all of the things that they're doing. Right. Right. We can beat that though, because they can't, if, if everyone is registered and actually puts a ballot in, mm -hmm. they can't add anybody else. Right. Because we have set, we know how many people are here. Right. Right. For the most part, yeah. they, there's not enough immigrants over here to flip an actual election. If everybody goes, every American citizen goes out and votes. Right. They can't do it. Right. But you know, you see it in California, right. California, they're all freaked out because they're like, California is going to flip. So they, they say, okay, if you're, if you're, if you live in the state, right. all you have to do is live here and you can vote. Right. That's it. Yeah. You don't have to, you know, I, I, people call me extreme because I think you should have paid taxes before you can even vote. Okay. I think that you should have contributed to, you should be contributing to this, to society before you get to vote. Right. Um, and the, I don't even, I, even with felons, I think that felons, if they're out of prison, contributing to society, they should be allowed to vote. They are. Right. They are. Yeah. As long as they're a lot not. of people don't think that though. A lot of people think they shouldn't be allowed to vote ever. Well, you know, what's interesting is I have actually been working in the felon uh, population, registering them to vote. They don't know that they can vote. They don't even know. They have no idea that they can vote. And I can't even tell you how many felons again, Aurora is a very diverse city. I can't even tell you felons don't know that they can vote. Yeah. So I've been working on <laughs> registering many of them. This is, you know. That's a huge part of integrating back into society. Right. It's being able to vote. Yes. Being able to have us have your, have your say. Yes. Like, Hey, look, here's my say. This mm -hmm. is what I say. Right. They no, I might not, we might not win, but at least I participate. Right. Right. Because if you don't participate, then you're right. like, what's the point? Like, this right. is what makes us a democracy is the fact that we yeah. get to vote and whoever wins the most electoral mm -hmm. votes mm -hmm. gets the presidency. Right. Yeah. And then whoever gets the presidency gets to hire the right people. Mm -hmm. We are high. We, you're, you're hiring someone mm -hmm. to run the business of America. Right. All right. Do you want someone right. who's never run a, I always judge somebody by the type of children they've raised. Right. I have said this a million times. I know where you're going. Yeah. And go and look at most politicians. Mm -hmm. Their kids are all fucking out of their minds. Yes. Like they are because their parents aren't around. Right. They're being raised by nannies. Right. They're being raised by, um, you know, schools and right. go to boarding school and all right. this other. And then they get and then they see all the dirty, grimy stuff that their parents do. So their yeah. morals are all turned around. Right. And they have no more. They're like, why would I listen to my parents whenever they're liars anyways? Mm hmm. Um, and then you go look at somebody like Donald Trump, mm -hmm. right? And all of Say what kids. you want about him, but his yep. kids are his kids and his grandkids and his, um, 
in-laws, everybody that in that family mm -hmm. is productive. And they love him. And they, they adore him. They love him. They adore him. I've Absolutely. spent a lot of time with him. I've, I've golfed 18 holes with him. Mm -hmm. I've, um, I've sat with him at UFC fights. Mm -hmm. I've hung out with him backstage at those fights. And the conversations that I have with him, it doesn't, you, you've been around enough politicians. You feel like you need a shower when yeah. you get done talking to him. Because yes. you're like, this guy's so full of shit. Yeah. Or this gal's so full. Of, it's mm -hmm. disgusting. Yeah. I never felt that way with him. I always felt like I was getting genuine person, right? Right. right. And that's what people people are like. Oh, I wish he'd be more presidential. No, I want him to be himself. Right. I want him to be himself. Right. Right. I'm not hiring him to take uh, mm -hmm. a woman on a date. Right. I'm right. hiring him to run a business. Yeah. Right. That's it. Yeah. That's and, and, and hire when, the right people, and he knows how to hire the right people, and that's what's important right now. Yeah. And this, we are in dire times, mm -hmm. and oh, our country is, <laughs> is in our country is in a total decline right now. Yeah. And we are facing a world war. Mm -hmm. We're facing an, a civil war. Mm -hmm. We're facing an uh, economic, an, an war. economic war. Yeah. We're facing an internal war and an invasion from immigrants from all over the world. Yeah. Not just me people are like, Oh, you don't like Mexicans. I love Mexicans. This is, this is Colorado. Yeah. This is like, not Mexicans. We're talking about a Venezuelan right gang. We're talking about Chinese nationals. The Chinese we're talking about people coming over here that want to see our downfall. We're talking about um, extreme Islams, yes. extreme Islamist. Yes. Like those people yes. are the ones that we are, uh, uh, that we're fighting against. Mm -hmm. And it sucks for the the good people that are trying to come over here. Right. It sucks for them. Right. It sucks for the people that did it the right way. It's yeah. terrible. And that's why they're so fair. upset watching this. They are so upset. The legal immigrants in this country are so upset. Yeah watching this our money it's not only we're not just handing them money we're not just paying for their rent and food and putting their children in our schools uh that the school systems are are being forced to absorb the hospitals we're oh the hospitals <laughs> we we are paying for immigration attorneys yeah for all of them of course we are because we're expected to do so right we're expected to eat shit pie and say, thank you. Can I have another serving? That is right. what our federal government yeah. tells us. Yeah. That's why we want less government. Less government, more local government. Mm -hmm. Local government is where it's at. Mm -hmm. Like they got, That's where, you know, that's why I love talking to people like you, because mm -hmm. you're like boots on the ground. Mm -hmm. You know what's happening. Right. So you know what needs to be done. Mm -hmm. And it's like the federal government's like, well, sorry. Yeah. Well, and then your and then your state government is like, uh, well, they're they're newcomers, so we're gonna we're gonna. He, I guarantee, he's on the board of these nonprofits. Well, his husband's probably on the board. To, to quote our, governor, I'm not. I don't know that for a fact. I'm just saying, like that. That would I wouldn't be it surprised. Would make sense. To quote our governor. To quote our governor. Not only did he not reach out and offer any kind of help, he issued a statement, and I quote. This is largely a feature of Danielle Jarinsky's imagination. Wow. And he's never stepped foot there. No. He has he wasn't before you say something like that, mm -hmm. you should be go go put boots on the ground sure. and go stand there and yeah. see what's going on. Uh, absolutely. He never did. I bet he would never do that without armed guards. Oh, you betcha. He has But since he doesn't have death threats, does he? Uh, well, I don't know if he does or not. Not like you got. Not, not like I have.